were never rattled at all by the opposing fans. Get over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy. Was and because you clicked on this video, man, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. All right, a few days ago, I made a video saying easiest ways to get shooting badges in NBA 2K20. I was wrong in that video and I'm here to admit that I was wrong you know as people you got to admit that you're wrong and I was wrong it made it, it to me it was the easiest way at the time because I couldn't shoot so you know but I'm here to give you guys a better method now that I can shoot before you do anything man you see I'm in the I'm buying jump shots I'm looking for Kevin Love jump shot so before you even start a game make sure you have Kevin Love jump shot make sure you have quick draw on silver or take off quick draw or if you got quick draw whatever quick draw on silver is the footage i'm going to show you but then after i unlocked my shooting badge i put ranger stender on gold so you need quick draw or ranger stender honestly with this kevin love jump shot i would just i'd rather take a silver quick draw but that's enough let's get right into this video and let me show you guys all right guys quick little tip Whichever is your dominant hand, shoot on that side. So, for example, if you made a left-handed player, shoot on the left side. If you made a right-handed player, shoot on the right side. And you're going to see more consistent green shots. That's just a quick little tip I wanted to give you guys. All right, I like to bring the ball up the court personally because I am a ball handler. So, yeah, so on your way up the court, you want to press L1 for PlayStation or um, LB for Xbox. And then you want to press R1 for PlayStation or RB for Xbox. And then you want to do positional play calling. And then you want to hold the the corresponding letter above a player. Preferably somebody that has the ability to shoot. Or your point guard. Your point, but honestly, your point guard or your shooting guard should do fine. Unless you got Ben Simmons. For some reason, every time I tried it with Ben Simmons, they never fell back. But anytime I tried it with one of these bench players, they fell back. And as soon as they give you that space, as soon as the computer start pulling back, you want to pull the shot as and immediately as they start pulling back. Cause right, cause if you do not have quick draw on silver, that's why I say you might want to have quick draw on silver, cause you want to get that shot up as quick as possible, and just constantly, constantly, constantly come down the court and do that. And it's easy buckets every single time. It's money. I think I just dropped like 81 points or something with gold range extender. And I'm not even the starter. So this footage I'm showing you is me doing it without range extender. And it's just quick draw. Now when I get range extender instead of quick draw, I'm going to be even more deadly. All right, guys, here's some clips of me using gold Ranger Stender. And honestly, it's been game changing. I do not even have quick draw on. I use all three of my badge attributes for Ranger Stender. And it's been completely game changing. I'm out here doing Kobe numbers, just pulling up from wherever I want. And it's going in. Look, for the people that already glitched. Okay, look, I know you got all your badges. I know this video probably is not helpful for you. But for the people that did not glitch like myself, Look, we gotta do what we gotta do, okay? We gotta we gotta grind it out into my career. You know what I'm saying? But as you can see, like look, I'm just pulling it and I got a contested green with the gold ranger standard. This badge is OP. It probably gonna get nerfed. But as of right now, this is one of the easiest methods to unlock your shooting badges. If you don't have anything else, put everything on quick draw that you I mean put everything that you got on ranger standard and get the jack in. And you're going to get them buckets, okay? I do want to give a big shout out to Invade. I will put the link to his video in the description. He did come up with this method. And this method is OP. Like, it's so easy. The computer lack every time. You do want a game chase, though. For example, go play the Knicks. Go play the Kings. Go play the Bulls. Go play anybody. Go play the Raptors. 
Kyle Lowry trash. He can't guard you. Like, <laughs> guard, play any team that's trash on defense. I wouldn't suggest doing this on the Clippers. All right, let's see who made it to the end of the video. There you got it. The best shooting methods on NBA 2K20. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I will be posting best jump shot videos, best build videos, and some epic park gameplay and challenges. And if any of that interests you, you should subscribe right now. And I just want to know who made it all the way to the end of the video. So I need you guys to do me a huge favor, Was Nation. I need somebody to comment down below Naruto. All right. If you made it to the end of the video, comment Naruto down in the comment section below for an amazing surprise in my next video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.